Coming off the latest Steven Bomb, we're treated to a nice little slice of Peridot, Lapis, Connie, and Pumpkin, otherwise known as the new Crystal Gems, defending Beach City by taking over Greg's car wash. The episode takes place immediately after That Will Be All, where Connie fills Steven in on the events that took place in his absence. What happened? Aside from Connie, Lapis, and Peridot role-playing as the Crystal Gems, there are a few Easter eggs contained in the episode that may have more significance than we currently know. For starters, what in the world is Ronaldo up to? He's seen here in this scene hiding and holding up in the bushes, seemingly spying on Mr. Smiley's arcade. Based on his positioning, I'm assuming he's looking at Mr. Smiley's arcade. Perhaps we'll see a callback to this in the Ronaldo episode and find out exactly what he was doing there. Also, here's Ronaldo again at the car wash. Seriously? Is anyone really buying that he's really there to get his scooter washed? Perhaps this is a way of him spying on the new Crystal Gems to gather evidence to present on Keep Beach City Weird. Maybe Mayor Dewey's son went back to tell his friends how his father's vehicle was magically hoisted up in the air and washed by a big floating ball of water. It's likely Ronaldo overheard this and wanted to investigate the situation. He was in fact snapping photos of the occurrence. So I wouldn't be surprised if we saw this documented on Keep Beach City Weird. Some of the more cuter Easter eggs I noticed in this episode was Sadie and Lars holding hands. Somewhat. Lars seemed more aloof whilst placing his hand on top of Sadie's, and Sadie was either immersed in her magazine or perhaps upset with Lars. Maybe something that may date back to the new Lars episode, perhaps. Regardless, it was nice to see our favorite non-couple coupled in this cute little scene. We're also treated to a delightful recreation of the Steven and Crystal Gems running scene. Notice the attention to detail as it is a directional reversal of that to which we've seen Steven and the Crystal Gems do. And it was just adorable seeing Connie sleeping in Steven's bed. The message we're left with from this episode is that it's impossible to solve a problem by copying other people. The key is to be yourself and find your own way of doing things. Peridot is good at fixing things, Lapis is good at washing away rubble, and Connie is good at organizing. Together, they're the Crystal Temps, filling in for the mundane tasks best suited for the B-Squad. I do, however, hope that we will see Connie, Lapis, and Peridot in more meaningful roles where they take on a more significant task to aid the rest of the Crystal Gems. What do you think of this particular episode of Steven Universe? Were you happy to see these three characters in a standalone episode? Are you looking forward to more? I definitely need more Lapis in my life. Lapis is life. Hit that like button if you're part of the Keen Cluster and the best comment in the comment section gets a pearl pen. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one, friends. Peace.